it is half past six and everybody's still asleep which is very unusual um, Rudy hasn't woke up yet he did wake up at four had a feed at four and I feel like I've just been awake since four I've had probably about 20 minutes not very long um, so I thought I'd come down for a cup of tea while I wait for him to wake up and I thought we could spend the day together today. I need to go to Aldi to pick up a few bits. We have got HelloFresh so I just need to pick up a few like little lunchy bits and bits for Rudy. So I thought we could go there together. Me and Liam have got our first little date day today. We're leaving Rudy with Liam's mum. For the first time and um, she's so excited to have him so that should be nice i am a little bit nervous i won't lie i always get like this every time i leave him but i know that i just need to get over it really <laughs> and he has fun with whoever he's with so but i do really miss him i think it would be really nice for us to do something we was going to go to the cinema I don't think we're going to do that. I think we're going to go for a nice little walk. Well, I say it's a nice little walk. We used to do this walk um, in preparation for the wedding because it is a, like the, the walks like that. It is a hard walk. So we're going to do that. We've wanted to do that for a while now. We're going to do that and then have a little picnic at the top. Yeah, so we'll do that. Guys, you never guess what. You know the blue dress it, that was in the last vlog, i done all them, I think there was like five dresses that I was trying on. I decided on the blue dress, I got Liam and Rudy a blue shirt to match the dress perfectly and then I went to send all the dresses back and somehow I put the blue dress in the bag. <laughs> in the parcel bag to send back. So I've accidentally sent it back and it's out of stock. How annoying is that? <laughs> I don't know how, because I remember thinking, right, I wanna keep that one. I've kept the beige one, the beige one's in the, in the wardrobe, but I've sent that back for some strange reason. So I've tried to get a hold of ASOS um, it won't even let me do the like little alarm thing for when it comes back in stock. It just says out of stock. It's out of stock in all sizes. So we're sort of back to square one with the dress situation. But at least I know that I need um, a blue dress. So at least I know I'm looking for a blue dress. But I really like that dress. I can't believe I've done it. It's so annoying. We will find a dress somehow. We will get there in the end because it's next weekend so I do need to get looking this week. I'm clearly comfortable with you guys already when <laughs> I'm looking like this. Have you got any makeup on? Just quickly took my hair out of the little wrap thing that I slept in which is a lifesaver by the way. I only started using this when Rudy was about five months old. I wish I had it in the newborn days because oh that would have saved so much time. He just obviously put the hair wrap in, wrap it round and then sleep in it and you wake up looking like you've done your hair. And as well it's made my hair so much better because I hardly ever use heat on my hair now. I don't use um, a hair dryer or anything on my hair. So it's made my hair feel and look a lot healthier which is good. Rudy's away. Let's go and get him. Are you excited? Are you going to have a little play? Are you going to have a little play? Yeah. What I do is bring him into the kitchen. Um, we haven't got a pixie. We've got a little chihuahua called Pixie. And he's usually really excited to see her in the morning. Are you wondering where she's gone? Oh, he is. Oh, he's looking in her bed. Oh, my goodness. Oh, don't. Pixie's with Nanny. She's having a sleepover with Nanny, isn't she? 
Oh, that is so sad. Yeah, because Liam's mum's got Rudy tonight, I thought my mum can have Pixie because anyone who has a Chihuahua will know that they're very needy <laughs> and it can be a bit hard to manage the two, especially because Liam's mum's not had Rudy on her own yet. I just thought it's just easier if my mum has Pixie. But they do ask to have her a lot, my mum. These down lights are not doing any good for me, are they? So, um, yeah, she has sleepovers there every so often because my family just adore her. She's very spoiled. So she's there having a little sleepover, but that was so sad. He was looking for her because he comes down every morning. So should we put you down for a play? Go play with your toys. Yay! Big boy. His kitchen toys. He can choose whatever toys he wants from his little seat thing. I haven't fed him milk. I did try him, but he didn't want it. I usually feed him milk and then breakfast an hour after but he doesn't want any but to be fair we did wake up four for a feed and it's seven now so he might be a little bit full for that so i'll let him play for a little bit make his breakfast he, he can be a bit of a pain for breakfast it's hard to find him foods to eat because he doesn't like egg avocado he's a bit funny with toast he's not like doesn't really eat toast Oats, porridge, he'll have about two spoonfuls and that's it. Weetabix, he's the same, doesn't really like Weetabix. The only thing I find that he does eat is pouches of breakfast. Like you get the little banana pouches and things like that for breakfast. He loves them. I've tried to recreate it and he spits my version out. <laughs> he doesn't like my version. of him a pouch for breakfast along with a bit of fruit. I think we've only got, yeah, I've only got oranges left. <clears throat> so give him a pouch with some oranges in a little while, see if he'll eat that. Sometimes he doesn't eat this time. Sometimes he'll eat his breakfast once he wakes up from his nap. So I try him anyway, see if he wants it. If he doesn't, then I save it for when he wakes up from his nap. I'm going to have ready break for breakfast i love weetabix for breakfast i'm so boring i just really like weetabix we used to live on weetabix when rudy was a newborn because they're just quick and easy we don't have any we obviously need to go shopping but we've got ready break liam's still in bed he'll probably stay in bed till eight ish and then he'll start work my tea's cold I find when you put toys in something as well, he plays with it a lot longer. Um. Rudy Roo, what are you doing up there? What are you doing? No, 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 no. No, 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 no. He always makes a run for the utility room because he knows he's not allowed in there. There's like the bin in there and I always worry that there'd be powder or something on the floor. So we don't go in there, do we? Can I have another little play? <laughs> eat you. I can eat you up. I can eat you up. I can eat you up. Say, <laughs> no, you are silly dancing again, Bobby. No, you are silly dancing. No, no, no. Oh, he's my favourite little person in the world. I just love him. Don't think I've got a lot of ready bread left. I've got them. I think I've got enough. Isn't that going when you make ready bread and there's like just not enough to the milk? Hopefully I've got enough. We are in desperate need to go shopping. Hey! Hey! Shall we see what we're going to do for your breakfast? 
Let's put you in your chair then. Mummy going to make her ready break. You eating it? Good boy. I still do try them with the foods. Um, I mean, I've tried banana, he doesn't like banana, but I've tried him so many times. He's probably had enough from me trying him now, but apparently they can change the taste to things, so I still do try him quite often. And we'll have a little breakfast yeah. together. You've got orange in your sleeve. Just getting used to this camera as well. Because obviously I'm not a vlogging pro. <coughs> oh, careful. <coughs> I have no idea what I'm doing. <laughs> I'm such an amateur. But I'm just getting used to this camera. <coughs> yeah. Because obviously I've never used one before. So I feel like I'm, you know what I mean? Like I'm not in the shots properly. <coughs> there we are. <laughs> I'm learning. Yeah, we are doing a bit of baby wet leaning. Some stuff I just can't do though, like pasta, um, carrots. I can't, like I still mash things up. Yay, good boy. Do you want some of this? Wee. Some things I'm still not comfortable with. And I feel like I do a lot of the same foods, like mince, he loves mince. He loves all meat, then hey. he likes... Do you want some more? Wee! He likes chicken. I just roast chicken in the oven with pepper and garlic. He has quite a lot of chicken. I'm going to buy the packed chicken today as well, the pre made one, because that's good to keep in the fridge. Good boy! Yeah, we're just going to eat our breakfast and then go into the living room and have a little play. So he's going to have another play in here whilst I wash up and sort all the orange peel out that's everywhere and then we'll go into the living room so he can play with the toys in there. Good morning, you home in? Yay! Yay. <laughs> so this is the playpen set up with his little spare toys there that I just rotate each night it's just a range of random toys to be honest i mean look we've got boats for the bath <laughs> it's just any toys that i can find um sometimes i do do like a little music pile and a teddy pile and all of that but it was just random toys last night now two minutes past eight so he's got another hour till he goes to sleep. So we're going to have a little play. Oh, big boy! Oh, <gasps> That's a big boy! Good 
boy. Ow! <laughs> You're bashing my ankles. <laughs> Hopefully he'll go straight down to bed. He's usually quite good in the morning. He's a bit temperamental for his afternoon nap, but his morning nap, he's usually quite good. I'll have a shower, get ready for the day. I do need to do some editing, so I'll do some editing. Hopefully I can fit that in. Uh, what I do when I know we're leaving the house is I get my clothes set, like ironed and ready, and Rudy's clothes ironed and ready, just because it's one less thing to do when he's napping. I washed my hair last night, so I won't need to wash my hair. He went to sleep at quarter to nine instead of nine o'clock. He was very tired. So I'm just going to put some makeup on. SPF every day even in the winter this is the bondi sands one factor 50 it's really good i burn so easily on obviously when we have nice weather but i never brown i just stay pale which is great <laughs> i hate it i hope rudy Gets a nice little tan, bless him. Liam tans, but I just, I have to do my fake tan every day. I look really pale compared to my hands. But I have put it on my on my face. I don't know why the tan didn't take to my face. Um, I've been influenced by Molly May and bought this Aveeno Oat Gel Moisturiser. Apparently, she said it's really good under makeup. So... We'll give that a go. Ooh, it feels nice. Liam swears by Aveeno, and we've used Aveeno um, on Rudy. That feels really nice on my skin. I like that. This is the Born, uh, Too Faced Born this way. I was, just the mirrors down here. I was going for really light makeup, but I bought myself the, um, Dior Forever Glow. Is it called Forever Glow? Where is it? Yeah. Dior Skin Glow. And I used this foundation for my wedding day. And it was in Greece, so it was warm, but that still didn't move. So I feel like I'm back to putting like a tiny bit of foundation on. I've got really sensitive skin as well, so I can't like have all the you know, like you see all the TikToks of like the in skincare, my skin would just go terrible, like proper reaction if I used all that stuff. So I tend to stick to like my samey sort of skincare that I know works well on my skin because I am quite sensitive like a tiny bit of foundation on just a little bit it looks super natural as well i swear by this foundation i have shade what shade do i have oh it doesn't say new oh 2n tell me your postpartum without telling me <laughs> oh it drives me mad but at least it's growing back a little bit because i was like full-on bold <laughs> at one point just try and blend it in it's charlotte tilbury i think i got the wrong one i think i got the oh it's basically nearly ran out anyway but i think i got the highlighter instead of the actual oh just use the last bit and i think it's a bit too much yeah, I think I've got the highlighter instead of the liquid blush. I do still like it though, it gives a nice little shimmer. I always think like with this nap, you never know how long you've got really. So will I have time to do other stuff? Will he wake up any second mid makeup? You just never know. And then I just do a little bit. This is the Charlotte Tilbury little compact thing i've had this for oh god 
years it's lasted ages it's really nice the little shimmery bit that i've used all of that's nice for like um going out that's a really nice shimmer there's this trend to not wear mascara at the minute it's not for me <laughs> it is not for me my my eyes look bold <laughs> i don't look well <laughs> It is not for me. I am a mascara girl through and through. Rough eye, eyebrow, gel. I don't stick them up or anything. I think that looks lovely on other people, but I don't think it suits me. So I just like, my eyebrows grow like down. So I have to gel them to try and make them look not weird <laughs> they've always grew downward so i've got to like gel them in place but yeah i've i'm not on this no mascara trend i just don't look right <laughs> it looks lovely on other girls but not for me my best friend always says i can't believe your eyelashes haven't fallen out yet the amount i curl them and I love the um, LVL I really love that but I had to have a break from it because my eyelashes were getting really like sparse and I'll wait till like the summer time to have it again so I just use the eyelash curler I used to have naturally really curly eyelashes but I done beauty therapy in college and we practiced the LVL on each other and we done it way too much and it made my lashes go really straight and then obviously I carried on doing it um, as I got older so that didn't help either but before I, start, before I messed with them they were curly anyway so I shouldn't have done it really, but we were practicing on each other. I have, um, the vlog will be up by the time this one's up, but I haven't, um, edited that one, the one, the weekend one, yeah. I was editing it last night and it shocked me how long it takes to actually edit a video, uh, YouTube. Because on Instagram, that one's running out a little bit, on Instagram, I can edit in, like, I'm so used to it, it takes me not long at all. But, I don't know, maybe because I'm not used to YouTube yet, it's taken me forever. I feel like this is like the third day <laughs> of trying to get it edited and up. Like, I don't know how people do two videos a week. But as I said, they're probably just used to it. This is a new one, so it's got, like, too much product on it. Like, I don't like it when it's brand, brand new. I like it to be, like, almost dry. Like, as if there's no product on it. I swear my eyelashes are falling out. They're everywhere. I had fake eyelashes once, I don't have them very often, I think I've had them like twice. And when they came out, my actual eyelashes came out with them. Oh my gosh, I was crying. <laughs> I've got no eyelashes. <laughs> so, I haven't done that since. But I do like them, they look lovely. And it would save all this baffing about with mascara, wouldn't it? But I just feel like they don't suit me and the fear of my actual eyelashes falling off was just too much so i'm just brushing my hair out it's gotten so long lately i need to get it trimmed again and then a little bit of hair oil i use the olaplex just a little bit at the ends He's awake. He's had an hour. Who woke up early? <laughs> Was he not that tired? 
Let's get you changed, yeah? Rudy's outfit of the day. I'm gonna show your outfit off. It's just this little top and trousers with bears on from H&M. Ouchies. And this sweatshirt from H&M and neck socks. Neck socks for babies are the best socks I found because they, they find it hard to get them off. We are dressed and ready to go shopping. It's so busy in here, but I've just stopped here to show these pancakes. These are the best pancakes from Aldi. Also, these are great for Rudy. I just blend them up. Or he has like some of them for baby lead weaning. But yeah, I'll show you the rest when we get home. <laughs> Rudy. You good boy, isn't you? <laughs> Thank you. gosh that was like Christmas in there it was absolutely packed I don't know why why probably for Mother's Day I suppose I suppose everybody's getting bits in for Mother's Day but thank goodness I bought snacks I always bring snacks with me just in case the queue's a bit long. I made that mistake in Asda once and he screamed the place down. We were queuing for ages. We're going to get back home. I'll show you everything I've got. I feel like I just raced around just to leave though, to be honest, because it was just so busy. Rudy was a little angel in there. Everybody stops every two minutes because he's like dying to smile and talk to people. Um, which is so sweet. We're all done anyway, so we're gonna drive home, get everything out, I'll show you everything I've got, and make some lunch for Rudy, me and Liam. Right guys, so we are back from the food shop, so I just thought I'd quickly run through what we picked up. We have a um, green juice every day. I tried to, obviously I didn't today because I didn't have the stuff in. But I put kale, lemon, cucumber, celery and a little bit of fruit in there. So we've got grapes or an apple, make it a little bit sweet for Rudy. But we have that most mornings. I've got some pineapple slices as well. I think these are great to have in the cupboard because obviously Rudy can have some of them. And it's just better to have that than a great big pineapple that I never get through and um, I am absolutely loving mince wraps at the moment I think I'm going to do that for my lunch today it's literally just mince fried with some garlic granule with avocado and cherry tomatoes which are in the fridge and I get these char grilled wraps they're the nicest wraps in my opinion um for Rudy's lunch I'm gonna do him some watermelon with some chicken breast slices these are what i was on about earlier they're just so quick and easy just to shred up and give him so these are the breakfasts that i was on about that rudy has some fruit he absolutely loves oranges as you've seen today so we've got some oranges bananas because i picked up some coconut milk and i've got some frozen strawberries in the freezer because i want to get back to doing the little smoothie that you do banana coconut milk and frozen strawberries so i'm gonna try that again picked this up as i said in the store this is great for rudy rudy's little lunches got a sweet potato just to chicken for rudy's lunch as well and these i use these a lot the only thing with these they don't have a good a long date on them really so i tend to make it all up and then um freeze a lot of it just for Rudy, Rudy's little lunches or dinner. We are a family that loves croissants, always pick up croissants. I do these usually on a Saturday morning. Can't beat a croissant on a coffee, can you? 
got these little salads. This is the best salad from Aldi. I love this salad. There was a, they only had this one left. They always go. I've like rummaged through them all. Um, and I managed to get that one. Just got a little Caesar salad as well. Yes. We've got a Caesar salad. Cleaning bits that you clap in. Clap, clap. Good boy. Uh, for Pixie, I picked up some gloves because... My nail lady said my nails aren't lasting because I keep um, washing up and I picked up some gloves to protect my nails, just some cleaning bits there, pizza for Liam, obviously my Weetabix, love the Weetabix, just got some snack, uh, milk, coconut milk, love these little teddy faces, when my niece and nephew come round as well, it's good to have them in the cupboard. This is what I have on the pancakes. Yeah, that's everything I picked up. So we're going to make some lunch. I don't know what to do, Rudy. I might do him the chicken with these. Just boil these. and blended the vegetable soup mix so this is what Rudy's gonna have and I've cut up a few bits of chicken I decided to have the salad because as I was putting it away I was like oh actually I fancy the salad let me just show it you oh it's so nice I I am a salad girl though I do like I could eat a salad in the winter but I do really like salad there you are darling do you like it? He loves chicken, don't you? Do you like chicken? Wanna try some? Mmm. Well. Are you sharing with mummy? Mmm. <laughs> Watermelon. Small. Good boy. Yeah. Oh, good boy. Hi, guys. It is a little while later. I've just put Rudy down for his afternoon nap. It's 20 past one. I put him down at about one. I've tidied up the kitchen. Um, he went straight down for his nap, which he does fight the afternoon nap a little bit. But he went straight down. Um, he ate all of that food, he loved the food, he ate everything, so he was nice and full, ready for his nap. I am um, just enjoying a cup of tea, obviously I don't know how long this is going to last, because he had such a short nap this morning, which he doesn't usually do, so it'll be interesting to see how long he does have. Um, I'm just going to enjoy my cup of tea, I'm going to edit the vlog that I want to get out, my first vlog, even though I'm really nervous to put it out, but I need to just get it done and put it out there now. Um, yeah, so just going to sit here and do that while he naps, and then it should be time for Liam's mum and dad to come and have him for a few hours. We're still undecided what to do. Liam's not sure if he wants to do the walk because it's quite cold today, <laughs> it is quite cold to be fair, um, so we don't know whether to do that or just pop somewhere and have a little coffee together, so we shall see, but yeah I'm just going to edit this vlog now and I'll catch up with you guys later. Rudy slept for an hour, which wasn't the greatest, but at least he's had two hours today. We are going out in a minute, Liam's mum's on the way, I've just changed, I've kept my top pot on, my, um, why do I always forget what these are called, roll neck top, um, and I've just put on some flared jeans, my Ugg boots, my black trench coat, and my black 
bag. We think we're just going to go for a coffee. So, yeah, I'm excited, but I'm sad to leave Rudy. But I know it's only for a few hours, and it's nice for him to um, have time with his nana. So, yeah, this is the outfit. We've left him. It's sad. It is a bit sad, isn't it? It's not. I am a bit dramatic, but he was all right, weren't he? Yeah. He'll have the best time with his nanny, granddad. Him, you've got a dog. As well. <laughs> <laughs> you can't leave anywhere. <laughs> you can't just leave um, me to talk. He'll be fine. He'll just be playing. He will. He'll have the best little time. We're gonna go for something to eat. Have a little date day. It's, it feels weird, doesn't it? It feels weird being in the front it, seat. It feels nice, <laughs> doesn't it? Yeah, it does feel nice. Not in a nasty way, but yeah. it feels like... It feels like old, old times, old time, doesn't it? Yeah. This is our first time without little broody woo. And we have done like 10 months. Yeah. It feels weird not having to leave with like a bag full of things, doesn't it? <laughs> Yeah, that's what I was thinking then, how quick and easy it is to just get in to the just, car. Yeah, to just leave the house. Yeah. I need one of them things on the car. The... Do they have holders for them? I'll have to have a look. I bet you could get some that clips on. Like, you know, like a phone holder that moves in and out? Yeah. I bet you could get one. finished our little day it was so nice uh, Liam's just ran into the shop to get some snacks for the evening um, Rudy had the best time with his nan and granddad they have been sending loads of pictures and videos so he's had the best little time which I'm so glad um, and it was nice to have time with just me and Liam it felt really nice it felt like old times like a little date night it was lovely. Uh, the pizza was really nice. Very spicy that. It blew my head off. It was really spicy. And that creme brulee, that was amazing. So, so nice. I think Liam's booked there for Mother's Day as well. Because I did overhear him at the bar. Um, so we're going back there on Sunday, which... I'm not complaining about. I have had roast there before and it's really nice. So if that is what he's got planned, that would be really nice. But yeah, I'm so, so full. Cannot wait to get home and squeeze my little baby. Oh, I miss him. It's literally only been a few hours. I'm so dramatic, <laughs> but oh, just miss him so much. So we're gonna do the little bath and bed and yeah have a nice little snuggy cozy evening at home we've just said as well that we're gonna book we're gonna do like a double date um for the next little date night maybe go into birmingham for cocktails and stuff like that because we used to go into birmingham center a lot when we were first dating so we said we'd go back to like all the little places that we used to go to all the cocktail bars so yeah, that might be on the cards for the next date night. Not sure when. <laughs> I don't know when I can peel myself away from Rudy. But yeah, I'm really glad we done it. It was such a nice little date night. And I'm glad we didn't do the, the big walk that we was going to do because it is freezing. So I don't think I would have made it all the way up to the top. Um, but yeah, we had the best little time back home with my baby he is so overtired he had the best time but he's a very tired boy so i'm going to close this vlog here we're gonna have 
bath a bit earlier, I think. Get this little one to bed. Um, but yeah, thank you all so much for spending the day with me. And I will see you in the next vlog. Hey. <laughs>